even a half percent higher on that. But let's get to Zomato, which is also surging in trade uh, post the QIP launch. Nimesh is here with the details. Nimesh. Uh, hi, Rima. So first on the news part, which is the QIP, uh, that got launched last evening. They're looking to raise a billion dollars, which was which was part of a story as well. And uh, the indicative price is much lower at 252, but I understand because of the strong demand, the stock is uh, actually in the green and up to what percent. Now, uh, this would mean an equity dilution of close to 3.5% uh, on, on the floor price. So that's, that's a rough calculation. Now, uh, now the new uh, the, the impact part, why, why it is important and how it's going to uh, impact uh, the MSCI angle as well. One, uh, you know, when we when we did the, when we broke the story, it was very clear to us that this fundraising is essentially been done to reduce the FI holding below 50 below 50 percent. Currently, the FI holding is close to 51. Uh, and, and after this uh, QIP, which is largely going to be dominated by domestic funds, the expectation is that the FI holding will fall uh, below 50 percent. Uh, what I understand, uh, even when we broke the story uh, a month back, the feedback was that after this QIP issue gets done, the company is likely to write to RBI requesting for an FI, uh, FDI cap of 49 percent. Now, this is going to be quite interesting, right? And, and, and Jeffrey is actually, uh, no, you know, has written about it a month back when we did the story. And, and you know, they very clearly said that uh, in, if indeed this is the case that uh, the, the, the company asked for a cap of FI limit at 49%, it, uh, it will help uh, the e-com business. And that's the whole idea of doing this QIP. But this could also mean that eventually, uh, you know, the stock gets deleted from MSCI. So that's the next level to track as far as uh, the MSCI angle is concerned. Well, Jeffries do believe that it will take some time uh, for these adjustments to happen. So it may not happen very immediately as per the Jeffries note. Uh, the other thing to watch and which, which is part of my chatter yesterday as well, that after the QIP issue, there is a very high, uh, high, uh, high possibility of another large block where one of the strategic investors uh, could see a clean out trade. So that's the next thing to watch out for as far as the matter is concerned. But for today, uh, as far as the QIP is concerned, I understand there's a very strong demand and hence the stock is recovered from the lows as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, got that image. Uh, thanks. So that's a lot of Zomato paper hitting the market.